everyone, it's Penny of Wacko Witch Astrology. Today I am here with my Sunday vlog. And instead of really talking about anything going on in my life, I wanted to share some advice that I think can apply to everyone's life. First of all, because this Mercury retrograde in Aries, Aries the sign of war, the sign of self, uh, it seems to have really thrown a lot of people for a loop. And I know I'm not the only person who's like having trouble dealing with themselves and wanting to get out of bed in the morning and wanting to keep moving forward because usually Aries is all go, go, go. Aries is the forward moving energy of the earth. For those of us who live on earth, Aries is what brings energy moving forward. But since Mercury's in retrograde right now and Aries is like, no, no, let's go back. And so normally the super ambitious sign is like going backwards as far as we can tell. So the topic I wanted to cover to today is how to get through the hardest times in your life. I decided I wanted to make this video a few days ago, but then I was like, what am I going to put in it? Because <laughs> I've had a lot of really hard times in life. Um, I know I don't have to make everything a competition, even though I'm a fire sign, I'm a Leo. I, like Fire signs are competitive, but I can tone it down for a minute. I know it's not a competition, but I think my life has been a little bit harder than most people's. I apologize for saying it this way, um, but you know, normally I hear people, they have like one or two like really big obstacles that they had to go through and I feel like my life is just the same thing over and over again and it's it's a lot of obstacles. It's a lot of things that have been weighing me down. You know, I I came into the world without having a good relationship with my family never got along well with them. They never had a good opinion of me. Um, you know, even my sibling that I grew up with, I didn't get along with her either. Um, I was weird. So I like, I naturally stood out like a sore thumb and I was like bullied a lot and a lot of people didn't like me. Um, and then I was like this, this combination of like weird and smart, but still like rebellious. So most of my teachers ended up not really liking me either. And it's kind of just like everyone has always found things to not like about me and I end up feeling really rejected and alone. And then on top of that, I have like these other things I have to deal with in life, like um, being a single parent, which is a huge financial strain. Um, and yeah, I think a lot of us have these like repeated lessons we always go through in life. And for me, I feel like every time the lesson hits again, the harder it is to deal with, the more it hurts because it's already like a weak spot for you. And it's like, oh my gosh, I have to deal with this again and again and again. And I don't really know if other people feel that way. Um, but that's kind of why I want to make this video. And I want to share two techniques that I use that I really feel like are the bread and butter of getting through life's hard times. Um, one of them's obvious and I hear people talk about it and suggest it all the time. And then the other one is not as obvious, I guess, because I don't hear people talking about it, but I feel like it should be more obvious. And that one is, the first one that I want to talk about is learning to detach, to step back, to not give a fuck anymore. Okay. The, one of the most important things I had to do to survive is think about all the things that I was hanging on to like being worried about other people's opinions of me and really just things that were holding me back in life from being the person that I wanted to be. And I had to let those go. You know, I had to live being less inhibited and just do whatever I have to do to enjoy life. If that means that I'm going to sing in the car with the windows down like a lunatic, I'm going to do that. If that means that I'm going to continue singing, even as I get out of the car, as I'm walking into Walmart, I'm going to do that too. Um, so I, I basically, I just let a lot of stuff go, but even more so than that, I think you just have to pause for a minute when things are really, really hard and you're stressed out and you're like, I don't know how I'm going to get through this. 
you don't have to like lay in bed for a day and be like, oh, I can't deal with the world. Like, I know we want to do that some days and maybe every now and then it's necessary. But what I'm talking about here is to just silence your thoughts for a minute. Just zoop, turn off the thoughts. Stop thinking about it. Stop letting it tear you apart from the inside. And just don't don't care on an emotional level. Don't care on a psychological level. Like go through the physical motions of doing whatever you have to do to solve whatever problem you are facing right then and there. But don't let your brain and your heart and your emotions be affected by this. Um, and one of the one of the biggest moments in my life that I really remember is just this this awful awful time I was going through. I was terrified. I didn't know what I was going to do. It was like an emergency, um, and I had never wanted to die and to give up so bad in my entire life. And what I did instead is, first and foremost, I always take care of what needs to be taken care of. If you have a bill you need to pay, go pay the bill. If you need to like, whatever, if you need to be somewhere, if you need to be at work, go be at work. Like, just do it. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> so what I did, instead of staying up and panicking, is that I just went to sleep. And I had to sleep in my car, but I still just went to sleep. And I think just, you know, shutting everything down for a minute and letting the time pass is like letting the next page of your story turn. Because life is like a book. Just turn the page. You don't know what's on the next page. All you can see is this page that's in front of you right now. And this page might be chaotic and full of rambly, frantic text about how life is all doom and destruction. But you have no idea what's on the next page until you just turn the page. So just go and just see what's next. And you have, if you have to like take a little nap or take a little time out in order to see what's next, then go ahead and do that. Um, but I think that's the biggest thing. And I think also having the ability to detach and not let things bother you so much, it will also allow you to live your life more ambitiously and hopefully more happily as well because I think like a lot of times people get judged for acting like they're happy and we're all like oh I don't I don't want to look weird or whatever so we try to like just stay in our shell um but from from age 16 that's when I realized that I had to just like not worry about other people's opinions so much because sometimes worrying about other people's opinions can just like make us so unhappy so you just have to like live free and always do things that make you happy. Like if you're depressed right now, do you remember how good ice cream tastes? Hmm? Do you? Because there's some really good ice cream out there. And even if you're lactose intolerant, I just had this cashew milk ice cream with caramel and cashews and chocolate in it. And it's so good. And if, if you don't like ice cream, there's probably another food that you like, right? What kind of food do you like? Um, maybe you like animals. Maybe you want to go pet some cute fluffy animals and remember how that feels and remember just like all the nice things that you can experience in the world. And no matter what situation you're in, I think we always have access to at least some of those nice things. You know, there's, there's always a way we can get that. We can go to an animal shelter and we can pet the dogs and cats there and we can help take care of them. Um, we can go feed the birds at the park, you know, all kinds of things. Um, you, things don't have to cost money. Things don't have to be difficult to access. You need stuff there that can't be taken away from you. I think that's really important. And that kind of, uh, transitions us over to the next big point of our bread and butter of how to get through difficult times in life. Um, and that is to be ambitious, to have things that you are doing with your life, to have things that you are working towards, that you are passionate about, that you want to be here for, to have goals, to have a sense of purpose. You know, hobbies are very important. Um, for me, of course, I do astrology and numerology and tarot, but I also do martial arts 
and I'm, I'm really big on that. I've trained very hard. And when I start to think about killing myself, like one of the, one of the last things I think about when it like really starts to get very far, it's like, but dang it, I've worked so hard in martial arts. I've worked so hard. Do I really want to give that all up? And I don't, I don't necessarily know if that's going to go anywhere. You know, I'm not like an accomplished martial artist. I'm not like a big MMA fighter. I'm not a big boxer. I'm not, I don't like own a school or anything like that. You know, I don't have anything to say for my martial arts ability right now. Other than that, I've worked really hard at it. So find something that you're willing to work hard for. You know, I don't think life should just be all about working some nine to five job. And yeah, sometimes we have to work jobs that aren't fun. We do, you know, just to, just to pay the bills and just to get by. Um, and I do always think that's important, but you need to have your fire in your heart too, your passion, what you live for. You need things that light you up. Um, and I think that working hard and finding things that we want to work for is really important. Um, now everyone has their like different sense of motivation. Some people are going to be all like, Oh, I just, I want to have like my own business or whatever. And I don't necessarily want anyone to bother me while I'm doing it. I just want to do my own thing and make my money. Um, and for some people that works and then other people are like more social and other people want to think more about, you know, what can I contribute to other people's lives and how can I change other people's lives? And for me, that's a big one as well. Like if I, if I don't feel like I'm, I matter to anyone else. If I feel like I can't make like a positive change in other people's lives, then I'm kind of like, Oh, well, I'm just going to go over here and not, not matter. <laughs> and that's just like the way my motivation style is. I need to feel like, um, other people are being positively affected by what I'm doing. So, I mean, that's always something I think, um, you know, we're only going to be here for so long, but and our, our individual life is going to make a difference. Everyone's individual life is going to make a difference. But the the range of difference, you know, it, it, it can usually only reach so far. But if you can, like, change the lives of an entire group of people or an entire community, and basically, like, the farther you learn to reach, um, the more lasting your impact can have. And I know there's a lot of, like, really evil people in the world with poor intentions who want to affect everyone else with their negativity and their horrible agenda about their like selfishness and whatever. Um, there's some very motivated and evil people out there, but that's why we need more motivated and good people out there. We need people who want to make positive changes. And basically if you can make a positive change, like if you have a little bit of free time to volunteer or you see, something that needs to be fixed. You see some litter on the floor or you see someone who's struggling and you have something you can contribute that can help them. It doesn't usually have to be money. Like money, it, it's not usually money. I feel like there's usually something else we can contribute. We can teach people something. We can say something to people to brighten their day. Um, and you know, money's usually not the thing that's going to make the very biggest difference. So, you know, whenever you can do that, just go ahead and do it. And I think a lot of times, like the way we treat other people is also kind of the way we end up treating ourselves, which is part of the reason why I decided to make this video today, because I figured if I give other people advice on how to get through the hard times in their life, then, you know, I also, I have to sit here and listen to myself too, as the words come out of my mouth. I'm listening as well, just like you are. So I figured it would help me as well. Um, but yeah, that, that's basically it. I hope you liked the video. I hope you got something out of it. Um, comment and let me know what you think about that. And, um, yeah, have a good week.